My people, 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 my people. I just got up off my knees again, like last Friday. I'm just, I've just finished praying. And I got several messages say that the police have arrested Kenson King and Adriana King. Right? Let me put this thing into perspective for you. And that is why I am here to put things into perspective. Last Friday, they arrested Anime Lois of Leyu. And they accused her and charged her for wounding Ralph Gonzalez with a stone. Right? Now, this Friday, they arrested Kenson and Adriana King. I don't know what, why they arrest them, but I suspect they are on a fishing expedition. So let me just invite a few people to come live with me. And people, it becoming a habit. I think I would have to stop come this, to this spot to pray on Fridays. Because last Friday, as soon as I got up off my knees, finished praying, I saw... I saw a message that says that they have a, arrested Miss Lewis from Leyu and accused her of being the one who bust Ralph Gonzalez's head. So today I'm at the same spot. And as soon as I get above my knees, I turn on my phone. I get new information again that Kenson King and Adriana King has been arrested by the police in relationship to the same incident for which they have already charged Anime Lewis. Anime went to court on Friday and Monday and she was granted bail, right? So I am here to put this into perspective for you. And I wanted to share this video. Share this video, people. Let me put it into perspective for you. You know I'm not going to tell you any lie. I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to tell you what are the police powers. What powers they don't have. I will tell you why they arrested these two people. And I will tell you what should be the outcome of this thing, of this arrest of um, Kenson and, and Adriana King, right? Now, I see my cousin Ricardo Watson have just shared and Chancellor Thursday have just shared. So now, if you're going to hang out with me for the next couple of minutes, the people are going to, they, they don't send the, they don't send the people look. As soon as I turn on the phone, right? As soon as I turn on the phone, those two vipers reach. As soon as I get up to pray, that vipers they waiting on the phone. So they are going to, they don't send the people, they don't know, so as long as I hate, they're going to come live. So I want you to share this video so that we can get this message out. Now, let us not pretend we don't understand what is happening, right? On last week, someone in the crowd of protesters threw a stone and they hit Ralph Schitzin Gonzalez in his head and they caused him serious injuries, right? He's an old, old fat. I am happy that the person did it, but we cannot overlook the fact. That whether we are in support of the person who threw the stone or not, the person who threw the stone has committed a crime. It is the police responsibility to investigate this crime and to try to bring the criminal to justice, right? That is their jobs. Now, we know that the police ain't have not and one iota as to who hit shit stain in his head, who gave shits in the well-deserved blow. 
The police have the right to arrest anyone who they suspect could have done it for questioning. And they still have the right to arrest anyone who they think have aided, abetted, or conspired with the person who hit shit stain in his head, who gave shit stain the well deserved blue you get. Right? So you have to remember that Adriana King and Kenson King are two people who have been out front in the protest. So you must expect they would arrest them for questioning. Right? It's not that they have evidence, but the police have a right to do their job because we can't we can't say how come they didn't arrest anybody in Mr. John's incident? How come they didn't do this and how come they didn't do that? Right? They didn't do it and that is a fact. But the fact is that Kenson and Adriana had been arrested and the police has the right to arrest them or to detain them for questioning what they are on. They are on a fishing expedition. They are throwing out spots. They would inconvenience them for the weekend and hope that if they know anything, they'll get fed up with being in the barracks and they say, okay, let me tell you what I know. And they find the suspect. So they are on a fishing expedition. They don't have no evidence that they did it. But they have the rights to detain them for questioning in relationship to the incident that caused shit stain Ralph Gonsalves to get his head boss. Right? It's no big deal. Adriana and Kenson King is going to spend the weekend at Central Station. That's no big deal. I have spent more than a weekend in a cell already. Right? So it's no big deal. They ain't special. This is the price. Everybody who wants to get rid of Ralph Gonsalves, who wants to get rid of Sister Sane, will have to pay. At one point in time, you'll have to be arrested and you have to go through the motion. You have to put it down as paying the price for the freedom of your country. So right now, Adriana and Kenson King is paying the price for the freedom of the country and the police is within their rights to detain them. Right? To see if they can get information. No matter what nobody tell you. The police is within the rights to detain them. Because they have been in the forefront of the protest. Right? So they may know something. So the police have the right to. It doesn't matter. They didn't arrest Ashel Morgan. It didn't matter. They didn't arrest Kenton um, Karim Nelson. They should have, but they didn't. But they are in the rights when they arrest Adriana. And they are in the rights when they arrest Kenton. Right? So don't worry about that. Write it down. As the price for the freedom of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I've paid that price on several occasions. I was charged and taken to court as a police officer on Ralph Gonsalve instructions. So it is not new. Right? So don't worry about them. Kenson and Adrian have a right to remain silent. They don't have to say not one thing. It is not up to them to prove their innocence. It is up to the police to prove their guilt. They don't have to say not one thing. Nobody who was arrested have to say anything. All you have to do, find the most comfortable place in that, in that place and sleep the weekend off. Don't say not one thing, right? Let them bring the evidence. Let them go out there and find the evidence themselves. But don't make that evidence come from you. Even if you see who hates Ralph Gonzalez, don't say a thing. You understand? Let Ralph Gonzalez come now and tell us who killed Glenn Jackson and then we will give him the information. Who hit him in his head with a big stone? Let Ralph Gonsalves come and tell us who planned Glenn Jackson murder and then we will give him the information who hit him in the head in the big stone. Let, Grant, Glenn, let Ralph Gonsalves and Julian Francis let shit stain and the skid mark Julian Francis come and tell us 
who organized the hit on Cookshank. And then we will tell him who hit shit stain Ralph Gunsav in his head. People don't get upset. That is what they want to do. They want to get the, the community upset. They want to get you all up in arms. You understand? Don't get upset. Kinson and Adriana is only paying the price for the freedom of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Nelson Mandela was in prison for 27 years in South Africa. Peter Bota never think that the apartheid system would have come to an end. So they imprisoned Nelson Mandela as an, ex as an expression of their power. They are now arresting Kinson King and Adrian King as an expression of their power. But it is a sign and they're only going to spend a little weekend. Two days out Monday. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years and he never complained. So people don't get upset. Don't chop your hands and make and get angry. That is what they want. Always try to find out what they're hoping to accomplish from their action. And when you understand what they, they want to accomplish, you ensure that you don't make them accomplish it. Now, what you have to do? Make sure that you go and see them. Make sure that words know, get to them, that you are supporting them, you're standing with them, and you're going to be there for them on Monday morning when they release them, because guess what? They could only hold them for 48 hours. And if they find any charge for them, Within the 48 hour time, they have to take them before the court. Right? They cannot, they cannot delay. They must be taken before the court. As soon as that, that, um, that time period run out. Right? So by Monday, they will be back on the streets. Right? Monday, they have new story to tell. Listen to me, people. Ralph Gonsal, thank you, is... What he's doing, he's creating folk hero. He's creating folk hero who the people is going to respect more than they respect him. Because when these two people are released, what he have done, he have given them more influence within the community than he will ever have. He wanted to be like Maurice Bishop, but he is behaving like Eric Gary. So what is when he's creating within Kingston King and Adrian King, Maurice Bishops, that he wanted to be like, don't worry about him. Everything that he does will backfire because St. Vincent is the home of the blessed. St. Vincent is the home of the blessed. Let him do what he wants to do. Let him create the four key row. That is what he's doing. When Ralph Guns have a good in history as a zero, People like Kenson King, Adriana King, Anime Lois, and all these people will be celebrated. You understand? He wanted to be like Maurice Bishop, the revolutionist. But he is more of an Eric Gary. He is Eric Gary. He is the oppressor. He said he come to finish the work of Maurice Bishop. He come to start the work of Eric Gary. And his young people, like Adriana King, Kenson King, Ricardo Watson, and all those people on the ground who is going to show him what it is like to be a revolutionist. We're going to show him. You understand? So don't worry about them. That is the price of becoming a folk hero. Ralph Gunsab in his stupidity. Hey, listen to me, people. People be afraid. Everybody in St. Vincent and the Grenadines can't trust nobody. He can't trust no one. Not even the security around him he can trust. He can't trust Colin John. He can't trust no Israelite. Because when he see you, he see the, he see the face of the Most High. And when, the, when he see an Israelite, he see the face of the Most High. You frighten him. Listen to me. 
He want to hold on to power. But he will shake in his boots. He will shake in his boots until he dead. He will never know happiness. He will never know respect. Because guess what? Even the people who once admire him now hates him. Even the people who now once fear him is trying to get rid of him. You understand? So don't worry about Kens and King. Just send them your solidarity. Send uh, uh, Ariana King, Adriana King your solidarity. Let them know that you're with them. You're going to be there Monday when they release. It is your solidarity to give them the strength to pull through. As I tell you before, I have been in law enforcement. I have spent two days in the cell in California here because shit stain wanted that to happen. He gave his people the money. You understand? And guess what? I make sure that that I enjoy my two days in the cell. I slept. I enjoy my rest. I prayed. I slept and I pray. You understand? He caused me to be arrested in I'm booking in New York City. The booking people chase me out and say, hey, you, you're not supposed to be here. Because that is how he's using the resources of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You understand, people? That is how he's using the resources of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. To oppress the strong. That's how he's using the resources of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. People don't worry. Listen to us, just all the senior support. When people go in there, when people go in to see um, Kenston and area Adrian over the weekend, if you can go, go and see them. And when you know people are going, tell them to tell them, let them give them your name so that they can say this boy from Alan Palmer from St. Vincent say hi, they're supporting you. That will give them the strength, that will make the two days pass easy. Right? They are on a fishing expedition. They don't know where the whale is. The whale is the one who threw the stone that collide with the empty coconut that is called Ralph Gunsaf head. They don't know where the whale is. So what they're doing, they're trying to throw sprat to catch whale and hoping that somebody won't want to spend a weekend in the cell, won't want to spend a weekend at, at, at barracks, and guess what? They will spill the beans if they know anything. Let me tell you something. Anna Mae Lois was taken care of by the police last week when she spent her weekend in, the, in, 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 in Central Station. The police there took care of her. It is not all the police are the vipers. The vipers are those who you see come out with Colin John. Right? But the rest, the rest is looking out for your interest. Kenson King and Adriana King is going to be taken care of. And because I talk here now, well, guns have tried to send some of his vipers to put them on duty to give them a hard time. But normally, the police on duty will take care of them. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that they didn't know. Anna Mae Lewis was given fish broth by the police by the police last weekend when the police cooked they gave anime lovers fish broth they treat her like she was a princess you understand listen to me people it's only a few of those people police officers that's why i tell you don't worry with the police officer let the police officer do their job you understand they have the right there it's within their rights to arrest kenson king and adriana king on suspicion either of aiding or betting or suspicion of conspiracy they can't prove it and guess what suspicion is not evidence I suspect a lot of things but they have to bring the evidence they have to bring solid evidence you understand they don't have no evidence they are on a fishing expedition He got hit by a good Samaritan, Calvin Bolts. He got hit by an angel. Tell him, the same white angel who used to give him information about NDP. 
inside work is the same white angel who cracked him over his head with a stone. I sorry it was not bigger stone. I sorry it didn't catch him in the in the center of his head. You understand? I sorry that he didn't get a concussion. I don't know. I just sorry that he didn't get a concussion. Somebody sent an invitation to come alive a while ago. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. So if you want to come live with me, tell me. Who they? Who want to come live? Who want to celebrate with me that 12 guns have got another? Hey, guess what? You think that stone? You think that stone? Do you think that stone is the only stone you get in? Wait. 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 You can see what happens next. Trust me. Trust me on this. Hey. He will. Hey, guess what? He will beg for the opportunity. He'll go and beg the CIA to get him out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hey, let me tell you something that you didn't know. I think it was in the 40s or the 50s when they had these, um, just the 40s before the riot, when they had these plantation owners and so forth still. They have a fellow named Mr. Childs who used to walk around, I think he's in Byra. Right around with his horse, with his shotgun, right? <laughs> White guy, you think he be the most powerful man, Mr. Child, he ride around with his horse and his shotgun, right? And like how they did Ralph Gunsar, someone take a stone and they lick him off his horse, right? Lick him off his horse, he did it. And when they were trying to take him to the hospital, right? They blocked them from taking them to the hospital because they wanted them to die before you reach the hospital. So guess what? It's just history repeating itself. Mr. Child get knocked off of his horse. Ralph Gunsar get cracked in his head. Like the Caucasian that here, like the human that here. You understand? So don't bother with that. He have more coming his way. More is coming his way. Eric, I think getting out of hand, man, it's just, it's just a simple thing. There's nothing, this is nothing for you to be crying about or worrying about or hurting up your head about. Right? This is the price of folk hero. You have to remember in the 70s, Junior Spirit Cuttle, who have defiled his foes, who have defiled his folk hero status. Right? As a black power, was given folk hero status by the way he was treated by the government of St. and the Grenadines but stupid man spirit defile his folk hero status right the man age was given folk hero status in the 70s an age story will be told over and over again in St. and the Grenadines the same Labour Party how they oppress age you understand the same Randy Dopwell was given four key was status in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. People Adriana King and Kenson King behavior. It's just Ralph Gunsar have given them four key was status. It's now they have to use that four key was status to make themselves into something that is prominent within the St. Vincent and the Grenadines community. You understand? So Erica Hazel Pope, don't worry about that. I'm not worried about those people. Those people, they could only hold them for 48 hours. After the 48 hours, they have to either release them or take them to court. They don't have any evidence against these people. They are on a fishing expedition. They're trying to throw sprat to catch a whale. Right? But the whale, who they're trying to catch, not even the shark was aware of who the whale is. The shark is not aware of who the whale is. Right? So don't worry about them. Don't get upset. People power in his face, Watson. People power as long as people like Ricardo Watson. Right? Erica Pope Hazel. Maxim Saunders. And all of these people. Lizard King. 
Patches Knights and all of these other people hold their head on their shoulder. Do not betray the struggle. Ralph Gonzalez is frightened. He's afraid. Let me tell you something. You know why he... Do you know why he says he will never talk to Dr. Friday again? It's because he know Dr. Friday look up to him because he reminds Dr. Friday of his father. He's trying to muscle Dr. Friday into control so he would not support the protests. You understand? Remember, you know, Dr. Friday is a lawyer. Dr. Friday, he had Colin John trying to take away the protesters' rights so that they need permission to protest. And the lawyer, Dr. Friday, has not come out and says, according to the law of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, this is wrong. According to the Constitution, it's K. Back is doing everything. Like K is, super, is a superhero. Because Dr. Friday is still trying to get Ralph Gunsab approval. He is hoping that Ralph Gunsab will start speaking to him again like a child. You understand? So don't worry about these things. People, trust me. Take my word for it. Kenson King and Adriana King is going to be alright. The police are going to take care of them. You understand? Because the police back there. Most of them understand the plight. They understand that they are not going to take the job. They understand that they cannot protest. They understand that there's people like Ricardo Watson, Kenson King, and Adrian the King, Loser King, and all of those people. Even um, anime. All of these people have to protest on their behalf because it is illegal for the police to protest. They are the only, they are the only Security service in the Grenadines have. The last time the police went on a go slow in 1979. The whole of Kingston mash up. Every store was broken into. Men and women were shot. You understand? Tutsi and Pazlat was shot. I was trying to get in touch with Peters. To tell Peter must do a documentary on the 1979 police go slow. I think Blue is still alive. He can touch base with Blue. Bilinji is still alive. He can touch base with Bilinji. Tutsi and Paws that is still alive. Big fat pants and Paws that is still alive. All of those guys are still alive. Those guys had force and information. Crab is dead. Brian Seals is dead. Vampire is dead. Those are the criminals who are implicated in that thing. We can't allow this thing to die a natural death. The, the effects of the police go slow in 1979 or 77, which one it was. People, police can't strike. The last time police gonna go slow, Kingston mash up. Every store was broken into. People were shot, people were robbed. You understand? The police have to stay on the job to ensure that you are safe when you're protesting. Don't make war with the police, even Ralph guns are people. You understand? Don't make war with them when they're protesting. When they come to do your job, if you're going to stand your ground, stand your ground. But don't make war with them. If you're going to defy them, defy them. But don't make war with them. If they tell you move, you don't want to move, don't move. Let them push you. But don't make war with them because what? The majority, 90% of the police officers had enough of Ralph guns 90% of the police officers had enough of Ralph gun salves. Right? And one of them would hit him up in his back of his head. All of them, pow, pow, pow. And splasher, splasher. Man down. Man down. Man dead. Man gone. Man bury. Don't worry about it. Everything will come full circle. Remember, you know, Ralph Gonsav is a man who went over to Grenada, befriend Morris Bishop. Morris Bishop accepted him not as a not as a Portuguese, not as a Caucasian, but as a Vincentian, as a Caribbean man, a diaspora man. 
Ralph Gonza was the man who sold Morris Bishop revolution to the CIA. He was the inside man. You understand? So don't worry about him. He has his time coming. He is responsible for Maurice Bishop and eight other politicians being shot down by cold-blooded, by Bernard Code and his, and his lieutenant. It is Ralph Gonzalez who told Bernard Code that the United States is willing to work with him if he get Maurice out of the way. So when, did, when Bernard Code take Maurice out of the way, the United States government used it as an opportunity to come in and invade Grenada. You understand? Ralph Gonzalez is a man who causes strife among the people. So don't bother them. His time is coming. Maurice Bishop and all those Grenadians who died in Grenada were Israelites. The Most High will never let those Israelites' life to go down like that. These are people who put their confidence in him and trust in him. And he betrayed them. He sold them. He destroyed the revolution. He sold them to the CIA. He was, a, he was working with the CIA then. The CIA couldn't infiltrate the revolution because every Grenadian was contented with the leadership of Maurice Bishop. Maurice Bishop used to take his ministers into the community and let them answer questions from the public. And when the public are dissatisfied, he said, why haven't you satisfied the requirements of your duty? Make sure you get it done. That's what the kind of leader Maurice Bishop was. That's the kind of man Rod Gonsav kill. You understand? So his day is coming. He's frightened. He's afraid. He's afraid. Hey, guess what? Time is longer than twine. Morris, well, Gonsav should say Gonsav twine has been rolling out for 20 years. It's only a yard of twine left before it finish. His pool is almost over. You understand? Sit back and watch us thing unfold. Sit back and let us make Ralph Gunza be afraid every day he stay in that country. Sit back and watch him run. Sit back and watch the end of his government come. Sit back and watch Kamala Gonsav be thrown into prison. Sit back and watch Julian Francis be thrown into prison. Sit back. The time is coming, people. The time is coming. As I tell you before, I have spent 48 hours in a cell right in California here. Let Kenson King and Adriana King spend their 48 hours in the cell and let them come out like reputable man and woman. Let them come out with folk hero status. Let them come out and show them who the oppressor is and who the revolutionary are. Let them spend their 48 hours in the cell. Just send them your support. Send them your love. Your support and your love is going to get them through this 48 hours. Nothing else. You understand? Nothing else. But people. <laughs> More things. It's, and let me tell you something, people. If, you watch, if you're listening here. Be mindful of anyone who's calling you on your phone and making jokes at you. Boy, let me get rid of Ralph Gonzalez now. Let me do this. Be mindful. Because what they will try to do, they will have their people, their undercover people, Calling you up with these kind of funny jokes, hearing what you have to say, and no matter the context in which you said it, if you are in agreement with them, they can take you up and they could arrest you for conspiracy for tra planning to kill Shitstein. Right? When I was in Bermuda, Ralph Gonzalez and PC Denny. What's his first name? What's his first name? Stephen Denny. First thing Ralph Gonzalez had to say, you get death threats and death letters and all kind of thing. Let me tell you something. No post office accept um, a, a letter unless it has a return address. Right? So if he re received death threats, he must know where he get the death threats from. He was making up these death threats. He had Stephen, he had 
Bermuda special branch people, the intelligent people in the other room. And Stephen, then he came and said, Palmer, let me do something to get Ralph, rid of Ralph Gonsalves now. Let me kill Ralph Gonsalves, man. Let me plan and kill Ralph Gonsalves. I said, Stephen, then he, look at my hands. My hands are clean. Would I dirty my hands on a filthy piece of this like Ralph Gonsalves? The whole plan, Ralph Gonsalves set up Stephen Denny. Stephen Denny, yes. Ex-police officer who's now serving in Bermuda. Ralph Gonsalves set up Stephen Denny to try to get me in a jokingly form to say, yeah, let me kill his backside. The Bermuda special branch would have recorded that. And they would have used that in court as I was conspiring to kill or to murder or to assassinate Ralph Gonzalez. So people, when people call you and with this innocent talk, hey, let me do this now. Don't entertain it. It's a trap. It's a trap. They are trying to set you up. Don't allow yourself to fall in a trap because Ralph Gonzalez is busy trying to get sympathy from those Vincentians who don't who, who, who kind of still timid about what is happening you understand but guess what he's a human he's not man right don't worry about that he's human he's not man people tomorrow I'm going to finish the, the program Tomorrow's program, I'm going to finish it tomorrow. It is called the export of the Edomites. Tune in tomorrow or look for the video tomorrow to find out. You'll be surprised when you find out the export of the Edomites in today's society. You'll be surprised. The first export of the Edomite was homosexuality. The second export of the Edomite was pedophilia. Pedoph Pedophiliality from the Catholic Church. They exposed it all over the world. The third export of the Edomite was abortion. Planned Parenthood, they sent it all over the world. Tomorrow I'm going to give you two more exports of the Edomite. And I'm going to show you how they use this. In such a technical way. That they have not been outed yet. So my people, send your love to Adriana King. To Kenson King. Send your support to Agent King over the weekend. Anyone who's going to see them, take names to them of people who saying they're they happy for them. They're waiting for them to get out. Tell them, don't say a word. Find the most comfortable place in that place and sleep the weekend off. You, you understand? You have to become tough like Alan. You understand? Get the strength and the toughness. Sleep it off. Wake up, eat, and go back to sleep. It's only two days. It's going to fly by like this. Whap! My people, this is the going to this favorite and motivated son. The diaspora of machismo, and I'm changing my spot next week. I am not coming here to pray next week. Last week, I came here to pray. Friday. As soon as I get up off my knees, they tell me that they arrested this young lady, Anna Mae Lewis. Now, as soon as I get above my knees today, all kind of people informing me that they ex arrest Kenson and Adriana. People, I hope you understand what I've just said. The police are within their rights to carry out an investigation. In carrying out that investigation, they have the authority to detain anyone who they suspect may be affiliated with the commission of a crime against the Prime Minister of Service and the Grenadines. It does not matter that they didn't arrest Ashel Morgan and Karim Nelson, they had, they should have done it, but they didn't do it. So don't make that become an issue, don't make that cloud your mind. The police have the right to arrest them and detain them for questioning. Those people, everyone who is arrested or detained, have a right not to say anything. Right? So don't worry about that. Don't get all buzzed and confused about this situation. Leave it as it is. Send them your love. Right? Send them your love. Send them your love. Send them your support. And that will get them through the weekend. And Monday morning they will be all because they have no evidence. They are on a fishing expedition. Hoping they are going to throw a whale. 
and catch a sprout, hoping that they're going to inconvenience these two people because they think they're soft. And when they get fed up of doing themselves for the weekend, they start to talk all kind of nonsense and implicate people who don't even know who threw the stone. Who doesn't have to know whether it's Michael, Gabriel, Faniel, Raphael, or Uriel, the archangel of the Most High who threw the stone and it's shit stain in his head. Right? It's just an it's just an it's just a procedure. It's just uh what do you call it? Police statics to wear them out and hope that they will speak, but 48 hours is not a long time. Right? People. My name is Alan Palmer Simpson. We're going to do this favorite the most hated son, hated son, the diaspora machismo. Thanking you for coming. Thanking you for sharing this video. And saying to you, have a good weekend. Send those people you love. Take some coconut water for them. Take, just take anything for them that you can. The police is going to ask you to, to taste it or to drink it first before they can give it to them. Taste it and drink it. That is for, to ensure that the prisoners, the detainees, are not poisoned by someone who's by one of God's guns have cronies who's pretending to be their friends. I will add, advise Adrian and Kenson King if they can fast, if they can fast for two days, must fast for two days and don't eat anything and whisper a prayer in the morning, whisper a prayer at noon, whisper a prayer in the evening. Keep your heart in tune. My name is Anna Palmer. I'll see you tomorrow. When we'll talk about the things of the Mosai, I'm out! <laughs>